atomic force microscopy has been used as a nanofabrication tool for localized material deposition, removal and modification for two decades. In general terms, we can say that the working principle always relies on the interaction between a sharp probe and a substrate. If appropriate forces, heating and or electric fields are applied, the tip can induce various physical and chemical modifications on the substrate surface. The diagram shows different scanning probe lithography approaches. In a very simplified view during lithography, the tip mounted on a cantilever comes into close contact with the surface and then the designed pattern is produced. As it is clear from the picture, this is a direct right maskless approach, not influenced by the diffraction limit. It can reach resolutions below 10 nanometers thanks to the finite size of the tip. The typical radius of curvature of the tip apex is 10-50 nanometers and the tip substrate separation is of a few nanometers. AFM nanolithography possesses the versatility to pattern a wide range of materials, including metals, semiconductors, polymers and biological molecules in different media. Numerous AFM-based lithographic techniques have been developed, which can be classified according to their operation principles into two groups, force-assisted and bias-assisted. In the recent past, remarkable results have been achieved by means of thermal lithography. We now present further details on the highlighted methods. Oxidative bias-assisted methods basically rely on the formation of a nano-sized electrochemical cell. In a humid environment, thanks to a capillary condensation, a water meniscus is formed at the tip sample contact point. The water meniscus is stable, and once the tip is negatively biased, it becomes a source of ionic oxidizing species, able to migrate and grow oxide on target surfaces. The figures illustrate the oxidation of a silicon substrate. Apart from silicon, bias-assisted oxidation has been used to modify different surfaces, such as silicon nitride, 3,5 compound semiconductors, metals, both bulk and films, perovskite oxides and serum oxide. The technique also showed its versatility when employed on molecularly functionalized passivated surfaces such as self-assembled monolayers. It has also been employed to fabricate nanowires, side gates in ultra-small planar FETs and nanoscale tunnel barriers in single electron transistors. SPL can imitate e-beam lithography. In this example, researchers from Ilmenau University of Technology developed a scanning probe-based lithographic tool based on field-driven electron emission. A potential difference is applied between a sharp conductive tip and a sample inducing a high non-uniform electric field, which can trigger a multitude of physical and chemical processes at the nanoscale. They developed a compact tabletop scanning probe lithography platform with sub-10 nanometer capabilities using thermally actuated piezoresistive cantilever technology. In 2010, IBM presented a system to pattern a resist through a specially designed heatable tip. This was conceived in order to overcome the intrinsic limits of SPL, like low throughput and tip wear. The horizontal and vertical motion of the substrate tip can be controlled precisely, allowing sub-20 nm lateral and sub-2 nm vertical resolution, having thus 3D capabilities. The electrostatic attraction between cantilever and the workpiece bends the cantilever and brings the tip into contact with the resist. At temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius, the resist evaporates very efficiently without residues or contamination, leaving a tiny hole in the resist with the same geometry as the tip. The system is a complete lithographic tool and has manifold possible employments. It is commercialized by Swiss Litho.